Hey everyone, I'm Adam Walker, MLA for Parks with Qualicum. We're here to learn more about the SOS Meals on Wheels program and meet some of the amazing team that makes this possible. Lisa, thanks so much for taking the time today to meet with me. Yeah, thanks for having us. Can you tell me about the SOS Meals on Wheels program? Yeah, so how it works is um, it supports the health and independence of local residents by delivering nutritious hot meals to their door three days a week. So that happens Monday, Wednesday and Friday mornings. Um, so they get the food around lunchtime. How many meals are delivered every week? So uh, we have an average of 103 meals delivered every delivery day. And then the average age of our clients is 79. And we actually have a 103 year old that accesses the program right now. And then last year we delivered over 18,000 meals to local residents. And how can people learn more about the Meals on Wheels program? So the program is available to anyone in the area who has issues maintaining their health and independence. And people can register for it by calling our community services center. So 248-2099. And then they'll connect to them with our Meals on Wheels coordinator. And actually, we have a bunch of volunteers arriving right now to come collect the meals. Well, let's go meet them. Yeah. John, it's great to meet you. Nice to meet you, Adam. Why do you volunteer for the SOS Meals on Wheels program? Well, it, it's a lot of fun. It's a great way to give back to the community. It really provides a, a necessary service to people who are stuck in their homes. They, they don't have access to some of these services like meals on a regular basis. You must create a, a real personal connection with some of the people you deliver to every week. You do. I've been doing this for about six years and you get to know them. Uh, you also, one of the purposes is to keep an eye on folks and make sure they're okay. And what does it mean for the clients that receive this food on a regular basis? Oh, I think it means a lot. It, it, it means having somebody to talk to from time to time, which I think is rare for many people. I've had a couple of instances where, you know, I talked to the person and, and they didn't look very good. We saw to it, one of the neighbors took them over to Oceanside. And it's, a, it's a very valuable service for these folks, not only because they get a great meal, you know, it's good food. Thank you, John. Love okay, that. good. Keep up the great work. Med, thanks so much for taking the time today. Can you tell me why you signed up for the Meals on Wheels program? I was in the, in the store not shopping for meat, but I saw a steak about the size of my hand. And back then it was only $25, and I've been told since it's gone up in price since then. And so the money, of the 30 days or 31 days of uh, Meal on Wheels, that money I can afford it with my pension. And I'm not paying that exact prices in the stores. And do you have anything you want to say to the people who cook the food or deliver the food as a, as a thank you? I'm just grateful I've got food. And the large volume of people that aren't in that position or out there on the street is just, I, I can't believe the figure. Well, I know the volunteers would be happy to hear that. There's uh, lots of volunteers, lots of food that gets delivered every week. Well, it's uh, relative to the news and the talking about the people on the street. I've got a roof over my head and I've got food in my stomach at night when I go to bed. I'm grateful. And I just class it as being lucky. It's great. Med, thanks so much for Okay, this. it's good. Yeah.